Hey everyone, Dan Savager here from Merge Your Data. And today we're gonna to be going quickly over the Operations Hub Enterprise features that HubSpot has to offer. It's an incredibly powerful hub, but a lot of times it's difficult to tell what you can actually use it for and what those features look like. And so we're just gonna get this knocked out in a few minutes. We specialize in Operations Hub, this is what we do. And so you can see here we have an Operations Hub use cases page. If you want to go check that out, we also have the professional section up here. So feel free to go to mergerdata.com and check that out, but let's get into it here. And so with Operations Hub Enterprise, there's really only a few features that are unique to Operations Hub Enterprise only. A lot of features are already provided in the other enterprise hubs already. And so it's not actually new when you upgrade to Operations Hub Enterprise. For example, custom objects are included no matter which enterprise hub you have. It's not unique to Operations Hub. And so in general, you get higher limits with Operations Hub Enterprise on all those features that overlap with the other enterprise hubs. So in reality, there's only two features that are unique to Operations Hub Enterprise and everything else is overlapping with marketing, sales, service, uh, content, and I think that's it, enterprise uh, hubs. So let's get into it. So the two main things, the number one feature that we always recommend for enterprise, and it's the one that almost all people upgrade for, is the capabilities inside of data sets to do advanced data calculations and formulas and data transformation. And so if you've ever used tools like Tableau Prep or maybe an Alteryx, they're starting to get into a very, very lightweight version of that. And so this allows you to combine data from CSV data sources. You can create data models using the objects inside of your HubSpot account and define how those are related with each other. So you can start doing things like creating aggregated calculations. And so this really opens up reporting inside of HubSpot because otherwise you're limited to creating custom properties and workflows and all these workarounds to report on things that you could do pretty quickly inside of a BI tool. And so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna show this feature really, really quick. I'm gonna add a primary data source. It's very similar uh, to the other report builders, the custom report builders. And so you can see here, we have all of these different data sources that we can bring in. You have custom events, you have your custom objects, you have service, you have sales, you have marketing, and you have CRM. And so we'll do a simple one for this. So if I go to contacts, and you can even see that there's some additional objects that are available inside of this. So it really opens up your reporting inside of HubSpot. So I'm gonna add contacts as the primary data source. And then what we can do is we can either click on join another data source, or we can click on the plus button here to add a join. And so let's say we wanna do something really simple for this example. We can add in deals. You can change the join here. If I wanna manage the join, you can customize it so that you can use specific association labels. You can use custom properties here. If you have on each object an identifier, like a contact ID that you use across other systems. If you have in the deals table, the same thing that you can link up. If you have an account ID, whatever it may be, you can create that join and you can choose an inner or left join. And so there are limitations currently, but they keep adding on to this. And so this is a main feature that I always recommend people to check out here. I'm gonna update the join just so we can see this simple example. And then you can see the data preview down here as well. And so you can keep adding to this, right? You can create a pretty complex model. Let's say we wanna just throw in, I don't know, something random, CTA views. Then we can add that and you can see that it builds the data model for you. So now if we go to next, add suggested properties, we have the same type of report builder as we did before, but now you can add in derived fields. So you can do summary measure fields. You can have advanced formulas, just like a spreadsheet. You can do conditional formulas. You can do switch cases. And so there's all of these capabilities that you before would have to export out to a spreadsheet in order to capture. And so these data sets can then be used in reports. This summary measure field is a game changer because a lot of times people want to be able to calculate an aggregate value, but it's very difficult in the custom report builder to do so. And so instead you can do these summary measure fields, you can make it conditional uh, and it just goes on and on. And so a great use case for this is when you wanna create custom buckets of 
let's say days to close. Instead of having to do a workflow and all these workarounds, you can just create a formula field. You can aggregate the count of deals that are in certain buckets of days to close and now you can analyze it. And so that's the number one feature that I would recommend inside of Operations Hub Enterprise to explore and a great reason to upgrade because then you don't need to use spreadsheets and all these other things to bring data outside of HubSpot. And so now with this demo, there's actually only one more feature that's unique to Operations Hub Enterprise and that is the Snowflake Data Share. And this feature is specifically useful for those who already use Snowflake, obviously. And basically what this does, it just makes it so easy to get data into Snowflake. You don't have to set up any ETL overhead, any architecture around that. And then you can control all the data access inside of Snowflake. The data is nearly instant, nearly real time. And so you'll be able to create those analysis join that data with other data sources you already have inside of Snowflake and then drive all of your analysis in your BI tools that you use with Snowflake. And so really this is more useful for organizations that use Snowflake in the first place and then have more complex reporting and, and data architecture needs because they're bringing data all into Snowflake first before analyzing and before connecting to other types of tools. And so if you're doing all of your reporting inside of HubSpot specifically, you're already bringing data through the CRM as a single source of truth, then you might not need something like this. But if you are using Snowflake, if you're a large organization who has a more complex data architecture, then this makes the ETL process seamless, super quick. We've had many, many clients mention how easy this was to get started and it enabled a bunch of stuff for them. So this is the second main feature in Operations Hub Enterprise that's unique to Enterprise itself or to Operations Hub Enterprise itself. Everything else in Operations Hub Enterprise is included in other enterprise hubs. And so we very rarely see people upgrade to Operations Hub Enterprise, but not have another enterprise hub already. And so if you don't have another enterprise hub already and you're looking to upgrade to operations hub enterprise only, then there are other features that you will get, including custom permissions, advanced permissions, field level permissions, custom objects, single sign on capability, logging in as another user, the list goes on and on. So if you're in that situation, just go look at the features page inside of HubSpot. We're not gonna walk through any of those specifically here. I'm Dan Saavedra from Merger Data. If you are looking to upgrade to Operations Hub Professional or Enterprise, go to the link below this video because we are running a special where if you upgrade with us, you will get 10 hours of free consulting and development so that you can hit the ground running when it comes to adopting Operations Hub and all the features that it can provide. Once again, Dan Saavedra from Merger Data. Appreciate you all watching.